Okay, so Snap's finally doing it. They're actually planning to sell AR glasses to regular people, not just developers, in 2026. Evan Spiegel made it official at the Augmented World Expo in California. And if you're picturing those massive Spectacles 5, don't worry, Snap says the new specs will be way smaller and lighter. Because yeah, no one's walking around in public wearing those chunky things unless they're cosplaying. Now, these new specs will have see-through lenses that'll project graphics right into your field of view. Oh, and they're also getting a built-in AI assistant that can process both what you say and what you see. Snap's real strength here is its AR platform. Lenses, already used by billions inside Snapchat every day. These specs are meant to extend that fun, playful, expressive experience into the real world. Also, a wider field of view is on the table. That's one of the biggest complaints with current glasses, so good move there. But Snap's not alone. Meta's been cooking up its own pair of glasses with a built-in screen, codename Hypernova, expected to drop in late 2025, but what Meta's doing is a little different. Hypernova is more of a stepping stone, something between um, today's smart glasses and true AR. It'll have a screen, but not full field immersive AR. Uh, the real AR push from Meta is Project Artemis, with consumer-ready glasses rumored for 2027. And yeah, those could be serious, aiming to fully blend digital objects into your world. And then there's Google. They're partnering with Samsung, Warby Parker, and others to bring Android XR glasses to life. Their approach partially hits the true AR mark, but doesn't go as far as Snap or Meta's Orion in terms of immersion. On the software side, Snap's been quietly working on its own operating system, Snap OS, for years now. If they get that right, it could give them an edge. But there are still a lot of unknowns, pricing, availability, and even what these specs will look like. One interesting twist, Snap's partnership with Niantic Spatial, you know, the Pokemon Go folks, they're teaming up to build AI-powered maps of the world, which could make AR feel way more real and location-aware. Imagine walking down a street and seeing directions or local info floating around you in real time. But here's the big question, can Snap make AR glasses that regular people actually want to wear every day? Not just influencers, not just devs, but actual everyday users, it's a massive leap. But if they get it right, 2026 might be the year AR stops feeling like a tech demo and starts feeling like the future. So yeah, Snap's taking a big swing here, and if it lands, AR glasses might finally go mainstream. We'll have to wait and see. Until then, hit that subscribe for more updates. Peace.